in terms of the education that kids actually get across the US, um, can you tell us about what's often referred to as the hidden curriculum of whiteness? Yeah, you know, um, in education, we often say it's better to show than to tell. tell. And what is shown is that um, Black people need to be over-policed, that Black teachers, um, Black women teachers aren't as valuable because in many reforms, um, uh, Black teachers um, drop precipitously in, 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 in numbers. Um, and, and then it goes without saying that um, there's a battle around curricula right now in the United States about uh, it's coming in the form of, you know, is, is this um, critical race theory? I mean, and everybody, they call everything that talks about race critical race theory. Anything and at all. At all anything, <laughs> yeah. right. And, and what that is, what they're trying to do is have the right to not talk about race or racism. That's what it really is. I mean, critical race theory um, comes out of legal studies and it was largely uh, something that only academics uh, actually study. I mean, I mean, right. they don't teach critical race theory in elementary school. Unless you're in law school, you don't yeah. even hear that phrase. It reflects the attack on really providing white people the education they need to show why and how this country developed and why and how some people are privileged um, and some people are not. And that's the the white black achievement gap that we need to really address. That there is a, a profound ignorance around history, around policy, um, particularly among white families um, who, I mean, people should know what redlining or, or was or is. Um, they should know the impact of slavery. They should know the impact of housing segregation, um, um, Jim Crow racism. Um, this is a failure of school systems. You know, I mean, we all are suffering from it, but at least um, in, you know, when you're in a black community, you, you hear it in sort of the, the ambient noise um, outside of school, um, at least leads you to some resources on occasion, um, so you can pick it up and read. And, and clearly, when you go to um, uh, uh, under or uh, to college or graduate school, you can learn more. Um, but there is a profound ignorance around race and racism that facilitates the kind of policies that we see today. Um, and so, and I'm not saying this pejoratively, but you know, we have politicians who know nothing about slavery. We have lawmakers who know nothing about housing. <laughs> they know nothing about education, and yet they are making critical decisions about their how they're funded, um, their belonging um, in, in the United States. And so, um, and all I of just, these and all of these policies, they don't. I mean, we've talked specifically about how these policies have affected Black families over time, but everybody in the U.S. is affected by the or in America is affected by these policies. Like these are not just. Um, I'm just following up on what you're saying about the idea that there is this critical lack of knowledge when these are not just things that are affecting part of our population. These are these are policies and histor historical factors that are affecting everybody who lives here today. I'll, I'll, I'll put a little um, highlight on that. Black people represent about 14% of the population, but only 2% of the nation's employer businesses. If the, if the number of employer businesses um, equal the, the percentage of Black businesses, we would see 800,000 more businesses in the United States, 800,000 more billion, trillions added to the economy, right. tr um, hundreds of millions added to people's pockets, greater innovation, greater productivity, you would widen the proverbial pot. In this regard, equity is stimulus. Equity provides the growth that you need. And so, um, you know, the United States will cut it, or the people within the United States will cut their nose to spite their face all the time because of racism. And it, you know, it's, it's ridiculous, but that's what racism does. 
it it really makes you feel like you're you know you're empowering yourself when you're really hurting yourself looking ignorant sounding ignorant being ignorant Choosing and then robbing to be ignorant. Every, that's right and, just, and then you're robbing people of, of resources you're robbing the entire country of resources um it has to end it, it has to end 